Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I'm traveling through my 40s and I am trying really hard to get my poop in a group. I've been focusing on my financial, my physical, and my mental health with a primary focus on my financial health. If this is something that you would be interested in, I really hope that you will consider subscribing and coming along with me. I would love to have you on my journey. I do want to say that I have been primarily focusing on my financial health um, just to get started because I feel like I really need to have my financial health in order before I can work on my physical health because I, ha I, am, I do have such a large journey ahead of me that I really need to, um, to join a program and get the support and get some other options. It's not just going to be um, a diet and exercise, though that obviously is a part of it. So I'm primarily focusing on the physical. I also realize that I need to get my mental health in order before I can really focus on the, the mental. And I did just post a video this week. If you missed it, I will link it here. Um, I always get this mixed up. I'll link it somewhere um, so that y'all can check it out. Y'all, I just want to say I was so nervous. I actually filmed that video like three times. Um, and I was so nervous to put that out there. And the response from everybody, um, the, the support and the love and the understanding has been so overwhelming. And so thank you very much for, for that. It means so much more than I can ever tell you. Um, and if it helped you, I am so, so glad that it could. Um, I just want to make sure everybody knows that if you, I know, I don't know how you can DM on, on YouTube. I don't even think you can, but if you need to talk to somebody and you don't have somebody that you feel comfortable with, if it's too personal to share, um, with somebody that actually knows you because for some reason it was easier for me to film that video and share with you than it is for me to talk to people in person. Um, please go ahead and DM me on Instagram. You can always reach out to me. Um, I'm not a mental health professional at all, but if you just need somebody to talk to, I am here always. That being said, today is payday. Well, tomorrow's payday, but money's in my account. So today is budget day and I am going to be budgeting out my third paycheck for April. I mentioned a couple of videos ago that when, um, I've noticed that when I get my three paycheck months that I think it benefits me for the month before I get the check and not the month that I get the check. But doing this budget, I think it might benefit me the month after I get the three months, the three paycheck as well. April was tight y'all. And I did some overspending, which is totally on me. That's my bad. Um, but it's uh, it's been an emotional week. It's been a hard week. And then Emmett had to go to the vet yesterday. Emmett is my dog. He is just about seven. Um, and he's had he has like a gum infection or something. And so Nathan had to take him to the vet. And then we're going to have to take him in for a special deep cleaning at the end of the month. Oh, well, the end of next month is the earliest they can get us in and possibly have a tooth pulled. So I'm glad I started saving, but I'm going to have to put some extra money into my um, emergency pets um, because poor Emmett, his mouth has been hurting. So anyway, we're now having to do the mouthwash. I've never had to use a mouthwash on a dog before. Um, it's not easy. I'm going to tell you that it's not easy and it's, it's not a neat process. It's very messy, but... I want him to feel better, so we are doing that. But anyway, between that and then um, dining out, and <laughs> y'all, I pulled a pot roast out of my freezer from Butcher Box like three days ago, maybe four days ago, and I keep, I pulled it out, I was going to cook it on Tuesday. Tuesday would have been my sister's birthday, I forgot that I had plans for dinner that night. Those plans got canceled, uh, They well, they got postponed, but... <laughs> I didn't realize that in time to cook the pot roast. I, I didn't know it until about three o'clock. That's too late to start cooking a pot roast. So went to dinner that night with just me and Nathan, um, went to Chinese for Ruthie's birthday. So that was an expense. And then I meant to cook it yesterday, which was Wednesday, but then I got a meeting scheduled at the last minute at 11 o'clock and I was going to start cooking at 1130. So I didn't get my pot roast on, and by the time I got out of the meeting and was working on another project and then remembered it, I was like, it's going to be like 10 o'clock before this poor roast is done. So today, my pot roast is in the oven, but last night I had in the uh, crock pot, it's not in the oven. But so last night I bought pizza because I didn't have any other dinner plans, so I ended up going out for dinner on Tuesday, and then again on Wednesday, and those were both unscheduled, um, unbudgeted expenses. So well, I'm going to shrink myself here in just a second. And we will get into the category. Also, y'all, 
real quick, sorry, I know I talk a lot, and again, I'm on my lunch hour, so I'm going to try to be as fast as I can. I got another check from Ally Auto, and this one I'm assuming is for the gap insurance, um, which they did tell me it would be coming. And so I looked it up. I just want to be full disclosure. I wasn't sure if this would be my money or Seth's money, because like I said, this car, I don't make this car payment. Seth makes this car payment. But I looked it up and it looks like gap payment, the gap insurance you pay for up front. Um, it's like included with your down payment usually, or it could be just up front loaded at the first couple of payments for your car. And I did make those payments. I made the down payment and the first like year's worth of payments on that car. If I am wrong, please let me know because I do not want to keep this money if it should go to Seth. But I think from what I can see that this is my money. So I did use, it was a $200 check and I used a hundred of it to cover a lot of the overspending that I did last month. So I included $100 in my last budget and I'm moving $100 into this budget. There's still just a little bit of overspending because that came in um, on Tuesday and then I did overspending yesterday. So, <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get started. How has y'all's April been? I cannot, I do not know why I have been so spendy this month. Like it has been, I've just been going crazy with the spending and I need to slow it down. I really, really need to slow it down. So this 180848 is going to be my paycheck that I'm getting tomorrow. And y'all, I don't know if they heard me or if they realized, but my last two checks have been 170847. Remember me mentioning in the past that my checks go 1708.49 and 1708.47 and I don't know why they weren't 1708.48 this one was 1708.48 so <laughs> I guess they heard me I guess they were understanding um anyway so 1708.48 is my check plus the hundred dollars so 1808.48 I am going to cover my overspending with um in dining out I am going to cover the overspending why did that not take Apparently, I don't know how to use a computer. I'm going to cover my overspending in reimbursable, but that is because you will see when I get to fill in the rent portion, um, what I owe for rent is significantly less than, not significantly, but it's less than what I was expecting. So I have not seen my mom yet for her to pay me back for what I purchased for her. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm, if she doesn't pay me back, I'm okay with that. I actually haven't gotten paid back for the movie. Um, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. If I bought my friends a movie, I was happy to spend time with them. Um, but then Nathan is paying me back for the shirts that he purchased. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover this so I can make full credit card payments. I actually have all of these cards set to, not this one, but these cards down here all set to uh, pay tomorrow. I just wanted to get this money in here before I actually submit it. But they are like I have already gone through and set up those payments to come out. So these cards, I try to make credit card payments every Friday. Um, so you, when I film these videos, you normally see a negative balance here, but that is because I have it scheduled to come out on Friday and that's why. Um, and then Paramount TV, I explained that I got this so I can watch um, Halo, which here's a disclaimer. If apparently, <laughs> because the, the, Nathan, my roommate and his kids are very into Halo lore. Um, it's not true to canon. So if you're not going to be okay with it veering off in some subjects, I don't recommend it. If you just want an entertaining show and you're familiar, or even if you're not familiar with the story of Halo, or if you are and you don't care about the canon, I recommend the show. It is super fun. I'm enjoying it very much. Um, but I look to see when the, um, Sorry, some guy just ran past my window holding a bottle out at arm's length like a baby bottle. That was funny. I don't know what he's doing, but that was entertaining. Anyway, I looked to see when the last episode would be airing um, because I don't want to keep it. I, I only want to watch that show. That's the only thing I care about. So I watched all the episodes that came out and then I was going to cancel it and then keep it for one month when the last episode had aired and just catch up on the rest. But the last episode will air this month. So I'm just going to keep it for this month, watch the episodes as they come out, and then I cancel it. Um, the Nathan's kids have been watching it. I shared my password with them because they're technically members of this household, even though they spend half the year with their mother. Um, so they are watching it, and the oldest, Jaden, is, is not impressed with the, the um, variation from canon. So he's still watching it. But anyway, that's that's my little thing about 
Paramount, but that came out on the 24th. So I technically that was overspending. And that is all of my overspending for this month. Everything else, I if it's under budgeted, I'm not going to fill it. So for rent, I had pre-filled half of rent last check and I was gonna do the other 250 this check. But since it's so close to the end of the month, I actually know the exact amount that I have to pay. So instead of 250, it's only 179.35. So I will send Nathan $429.35 for rent and then $50 for the couch. So this is what I will transfer to him this evening, tomorrow, at some point, he'll get his money for rent. And that's it for April. Everything else is going to be in the month of May. And y'all, like, if you look at what I need for the month of May, let me move me for a second. The total that I need is 39, so just about $4,000 to cover everything, including rent for June. Um, and I already have almost $1,500 of that here. So I'm very happy with this because I still have two May checks. Like this is my April check. I still have two checks in May to fill May with and to go into June. So I'm very happy with this, but I'm going to start with just, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to being a month ahead. I'm not there yet. I'm going to say this number did say 30 until I uh, made the car payment because they didn't take the car payment out of my account this month. Um, and then I had to go to the bank yesterday to deposit that $200 and I did confirm how I'm supposed to make that payment because I was like, can I just tell you? But she said, because it's a daily accrued interest rate, it doesn't matter. Um, anything that I make over the initial payment over the minimum payment is going to count toward principal and it won't. So interest won't accrue on that. So I just transferred them $500 this today for my car. And then the additional, what was it? One. I don't remember what I had to pay extra for Seth's car this month, 110.84 because they only took out 214.43 instead of 270. So they took 214.43 and then I made $110.84 extra debt payment on that. They took out zero dollars for my car, so I made a $500 extra debt payment on that. And so now both of them next month are showing that I don't owe anything again. And I guess I'm just going to have to remember there's not going to be any auto drafts for those. I'm just going to have to. Uh, make those payments manually, which is fine. Um, but I'm still set up to set to pay the uh, consolidation off in May. So by this time next year, that consolidation loan will be paid off. And other than the car that is in my name, but I don't pay for it, I will have no debt y'all in a year. Okay, back to my budget, which is why we're here. Sorry, I ramble. Um, so dining out, I always give myself $75 a check. That is half of my 150 for the month that I allow myself. Hopefully I will be able to stay under. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, and then uh, same thing with groceries. I do $300 a month, so I am giving myself $150 out of this check. My fun money, I give myself $30 a month. My gas, I have upped this to 60, but I actually have quite a bit of driving to do. Um, this coming Sunday, like in three days, I have to go out to my, uh, my church camp. My Ecclesia is hosting the, the, um, quarterly. We, we meet there quarterly, like a lot of people from different Ecclesias in Austin, in Austin, in Texas come and we all meet there once a quarter. Um, so I have to drive out there. It's about an hour and a half away. So I'm going to give myself extra money for gas. I had only put 40. I think I'm going to up that to 50. I think I'm going to be more realistic because I have only about a quarter tank of gas. Um, and then that will fill me. And then the following Sunday is Mother's Day here in the U.S. I don't know how many of you are in the U.S. and how many are not. But in the United States, May 8th is Mother's Day. So I will be traveling to my mom's um, my mom's house on that Sunday. And we'll probably do lunch. And I'll go to church with her. And um, so that will be, it's about 45 minutes. So it takes about a half a tank of gas to get to my mom's house and back and about a tank of gas to get to my church camp and back. So, and the gas is so all over the place. I never know if it's going to be up or down. So I'm just going to give myself $50. And if I don't need it, great. And if I do, that way I have it. Um, the rest of these I am skipping. These are not things that I actually put money into. Holding for now is my category where I will put anything left at the end of this budget 
to cover any overspending that I do. And then if I don't use that, I'll roll it into my next budget next month. That's where my rollover funds come from. Uh, reimbursable is if I purchase something for somebody else and they pay me back. I keep track of it here. And that is a category I added because I do find myself doing a lot of just doing the purchasing. I'll buy a meal. I'll pick up dog food. I will get the movie tickets if we're going out and then people pay me back. And this way I can track what I spend on myself for fun and food and dining out versus what I'm like I'm spending, but other people are paying me back. It's not my spending. Um, so I created that just for tracking purposes and no judgment. This is from that Saturday. I felt like uh, shopping and my phone is going to ring. Of course, my phone is ringing because I'm recording a video. Sorry. Um, this is that Saturday that I woke up and felt like shopping and I put some money in here. I moved money around and gave myself money to go shopping. I might do that again. We'll see what I have left at the end because my bestie and I and our friend Kay are going to go get some pedicures on Saturday. And uh, I think Jins and I are going to go do some shopping. She is fixing to close on her new house. They were building a new house. Um, and so she wants to go look for some home, home decoration ideas and inspo. Um, she's also very, very pregnant. Like she is nine months pregnant. She's due, <laughs> she's due in May. And um, anyway, she's she's nesting, but she can't really nest because she doesn't have, like she's not in her new home that she will be in by the time baby comes home. So I think that's part of it as well. So we're gonna go shopping. I might give myself some extra money for that. And we're definitely doing pedicures. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Okay, but we'll see when I, when I get to the end of my categories what I have left for no judgment spending. My mom's insurance is set to come out and my and Seth's insurance needs to come out. Oh my goodness, what do I spend? I spend $240 a month on insurance, y'all. That's for car insurance. Then I have this health insurance, $82.55 on top of my health insurance that I pay for like pre, pre my check getting deposited. So I spend a lot of money on insurance. Wash and roll is $19.99 a month. That is the car wash that is around here. And then Adobe is my PDF subscription. YouTube music is YouTube music. It's the music that I listen to all day while I work. I actually think it's still playing on my computer. I just, uh, I didn't shut it off. And that is everything I have to fund. So this paycheck I will receive on 429 and then I get paid again on 5 13 so I need to cover everything up through the 12th so that is the end because my next thing is the 15th um and so that those are all of my monthly expenses now I'm going to go down to oh I am putting $21 every paycheck into contacts and that way when my contacts come out they are good and I'm going to go ahead and put $15 into my credit card. I'm not going to, let me change that target. I'd put 20, but I did find out what the minimum interest payment was. Remember me talking about my Maurice's card and it charged me $2 and I wasn't sure what that meant because it said minimum interest payment. That is just saying, if you have interest, the minimum you will pay is $2. So like, even if your interest would have only been six cents, you will pay $2. But if you don't have any interest, you don't pay anything. Um, so that makes me feel a lot better about keeping that card open. And I didn't have any interest charges on that. All of my cards, all of these cards that are still open, I keep at zero. So I charge them to buy my purchases throughout the month and then I pay them off every Friday. I try to pay these. Um, so that's what these are. And then Chase Amazon is the only card that I did not pay to zero with that um, consolidation loan. And I am, uh, that that's where I get the interest. So it was $12.24 last month or this month. Um, so I'm just gonna budget $15 just to make sure it's covered and we'll be good. And then ecclesial expenses, I actually don't have any Sundays that I need to put money into collections for this, this paycheck because, like I said, next Sunday I'm at the quarterly and the Sunday after that I'm not at my home ecclesia, I'm at my mom's. So I don't have anything to put in here. So that's, that's $150 right there. <laughs> so that's it. That's it for that part right there. So I still have, oh my goodness, y'all, I'm so excited. Okay. So these payments are all set to come out and then Chase Amazon, I am going to make, and actually I'm going to do this in April. Sorry, 
I'm going to make an extra, why is this not moving? I'm going to make an extra $100 payment, um, but I want this to count toward an extra 100 in April. So I'm going to pay that tomorrow as well, that extra $100, because I have extra money this month. So if my minimum that I pay on this card every month is $100, that's not the minimum balance due, but that's my minimum that I am paying. Um, and then at the end of the month, so this is the end of the month for me, if I have anything extra left over, I'm making an additional $100 payment. So I am making a $200 month uh, payment. So that will bring me down to $457 on that card. <laughs> I'm so excited. And this again, in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos, this is the card that is in my father's name. Um, so when I did my debt consolidation, I did not include this in there because it was the... Um, it's, it's not in my name, it's not affecting my credit, um, but I am actively trying to pay this off as quickly as possible. So I will be down to just over $400 on this card. <sighs> I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm not making any, this payment is not actually due till the 17th, so that'll come out of my first check in May, which is my next check two weeks from today. So that's it, I don't have anything else to put in there. And then, Y'all, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I think I have more money left than I thought I was going to. Let me go back to April. Sorry if I'm giving y'all whiplash going back and forth from April to May. But my budget mom savings this month came out to be, oh, I need to put $53 in my 53-week savings. And then I need to put $183 in my budget mom savings. So that is what I'm doing for that. And that's it for savings, 423. It is still more than I thought I was going to have, but that's okay, I'll just leave it in my holding for now. So I'm going to go ahead and put money into, I'm in May, going to put money into household. Let me find where I am. Household is going to get 50 pet expenses is going to get 50 health care i don't fill from here health care health care um is my hsa y'all so i am looking into doing a new health journey and signing up for a paid subscription to something and i was doing research and did you know that if you have a letter of medical necessity from your physician and i do it does require your bmi to be over a certain number I can't remember what that exact number is. I just know mine is over that. Um, so if you have a letter of medical necessity from your doctor because your BMI is over a certain number, or if you have a certain medical condition that will require you to do a weight loss program, that you, with that letter, you can use your HSA or FSA accounts to pay for a weight loss program. I did not know that until last week. So I'm going to schedule an appointment with my uh, primary physician who's actually a nurse practitioner, but with my primary practitioner and see if I can get a letter of medical necessity from her so that I can use my HSA to pay for this new weight loss program. Um, I would then, of course, up what I'm putting in from my check into my HSA because right now I'm only doing $25 a check because it's not a priority. Um, but it, that way I could, you can pay for it pre-tax and it saves you some money. So if I can do that, I think I'm going to do it that way. Um, I also might not do it just because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the details. I just don't want to get myself in trouble with the government. But I did look on the HSA website. Like I didn't just Google this and like some guy in Oklahoma told me. It's like from their website they told me this. So I'm going to do a little bit more research and I'm going to make an appointment with my practitioner and see if she will write me a letter of medical necessity because I am, I am morbidly obese. Like I do have the medical condition that would qualify me for this this letter of medical necessity but but I'm not putting anything in this now um oh actually do I want to I have $50 budgeted to put toward my weight loss so I think I'll go ahead and put it in here not 52 Becky 50 um but this is I might come back and move that out because I normally this money is all in my FSA HSA card and I don't want to get confused by putting other money on here, but we'll see. For right now, I'm gonna put 50 there. Um, gifts and giving gets $75 a month now. I'm trying to work that up a little bit. Budgeting is getting $25. 
stuff I forgot to budget for is getting 20 and self-care is getting 100 that's where I'm putting that extra hundred that I um that I got from from ally so that's where I'm putting that self-care because I'm going to go get petties with my besties um with, with my friends and then that's all I'm doing for now I have $53.71. I'm tempted to put that into pet emergencies because I know that Emmett's appointment is coming up for his uh, deep cleaning. But I think I'm going to hold on to it for now just so I have a little bit of a buffer. Um, y'all will notice, and I talked about this in when I was setting up, I haven't even shown y'all what this is like I normally do. This is my budget by paycheck book from the Budget Mom. And this is like you'll notice every other video for budgeting I will write it out in this book to make my plan and then I will come into YNAB and this is my cash stuffing um, this is these are my envelopes so instead of doing cash envelopes I do these um, every other week when I get paid so this is how I define my money so I plan it out in the budget mom's book and then I stick it in my envelopes here in YNAB and that's how it works for me. Um, but so when I filmed that video last weekend, I talked about making this category right here for Tip. Tip is my niece. Um, I call her Tip because her name is Tiffany. And when she was little and learning to walk, she'd fall over. So we called her Tippy. Um, that's where that came from. Uh, but so Tip is my niece. And I've decided to separate out what I send to her from what I put into gifts and giving. Now it's going to be the same money. It's just if I'm sending it to her, I'm going to separate it out and move it from gifts and giving down into my tip account. And as I explained in that video, this is not because I begrudge her the money. I am not upset that I am sending her the money. My parents gave me so much help when I was in my 20s. She's only 21. Uh, my parents gave me so much help when I was in my 20s, even into my 30s, they, they were helping me out. Um, which is why I'm happy now that I can finally help my mom. Um, I'm very, very thankful that I am able to help her when she asks me for it, but I just want to make sure that my reporting and my understanding of what I'm spending on gifts and giving in other places and what I'm sending to Tiffany, I just want them to be separated. Um, so it's gonna be the same pot of money that I pull from, I just wanna track it differently. And that's why I created that category, not because I'm not going to spend send her money, I just want to keep track of what I'm sending to her versus what I'm sending, spending on gifts and putting to donations and things like that. So that's why I separated that out. New phone, y'all, I already got my new phone, so I can actually hide this category because I got my new phone last month. What? I'm going to hide that self card put my hundred the rest of this will all wait until next paycheck and also Wondershare had a sale that's the uh, video editing filming software that I use um, and they had a sale last month it was definitely it was in April it was part of what I overspent in April they had a sale where I got pro like with access to all of the extra things that I don't use but I would like to start using um, and it was only an amount of money that I can't remember, <laughs> but it was less, it was 50% off of that. And it was less than even what I was saving up for, for the standard annual subscription. So I went ahead and did purchase that. So that's part of where my overspending was. So now if you look, I need 70 cents a month because this subscription isn't due until October of 2023. Um, so that knocked that down from $5 a month to 70 cents a month but I did do some overspending this month. So when we get to that, speaking of annual subscriptions, I would be remiss and very unbecky if I did not mention YNAB. This software that I am using is You Need a Budget. We call it YNAB for short. And this, as I mentioned previously, is how I keep track of my digital cash envelopes. So I stuff my money into my envelopes here and you can create targets and goals. So you can just tell it how much you want every month, every week, every quarter, however you want to do it. And it will then um, give you the, tell you how much you need every month total, how much you need for here. I just accidentally funded something. I'm going to undo that. Um, and it keeps track of everything for you. It keeps track of all of your accounts. You can link your accounts. I choose not to link my accounts because for myself, I find it helps to keep me accountable if I have to come in here and manually enter all of my transactions. Um, but that's for me. A lot of people, most people actually, I think do link their accounts. 
So you do you. But uh, anyway, this it is an annual subscription that is paid. You can pay it annually or monthly. I pay it annually, so I save $9.20 a month, and my subscription will come due at the end of September, and then I will pay it, um, and it will get me another year. And I love it, y'all. This has changed the way I look at money, the way I look at budgeting. It has gotten me from being literally living paycheck to paycheck and going over most weeks in between checks to now my money is 30 days old. Like my, this money that I am budgeting, I got this money or any money that I spend today, which hopefully won't be any, but any money that I spend this weekend, I actually earned that money last month and now I'm spending it this month and that is so amazing is so i'm so thankful that i found this software um and now combining it with the budget mom's book it's helping me to save more and i really really think that if you have a credit card especially if you have credit card problems that this is a really really fantastic software for you um and that is it that's all i'm going to say because i have to go back to work because it's the end of my lunch time but anyway I'm going to go ahead and put this last $53.71 into my holding for now. And that way, if I do have um, any overspending anywhere or anything comes up, I have that money that I can pull from. And then if I don't use it, which isn't very likely, but if I don't use it um, until the end of this pay period, I'll move that back up to ready to be assigned, which is right here, and um, include that into next next paychecks um income okay that is all i have for y'all today i hope you're having a fantastic day if you would please give this video a thumbs up and let the algorithm know that you enjoyed it um that way they can recommend my content to more people and recommend more of my content to you it's a win-win and um also go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we are over 300 i think Last time I checked, I'm at like 333, which is a really cool number, but I don't mind changing that. Um, subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway of 500. I know that's probably a little way away, but go ahead and click that subscribe button. Get us just that one person closer, and then maybe you can win that giveaway when I do it. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.